Alright guys, so we got to talk about a story that is a classic Darwin Award story, okay? And if you guys have watched my channel, um, I've said this a, a few times, okay? That, you know, hey, I, I do think that there's some aspects of social Darwinism that may be legitimate, right? In regards to not race, okay? Because a lot of people get mixed up, right? Not race, but in regards to survival of the fittest, okay? And... Also, when we're talking about uh, natural selection, okay, the ability for organisms or for species to adapt to their environment, okay, or species that are better suited uh, for the environment will live on and survive, okay, and species that are not, they will die out. Now, uh, in the 21st century, in 2023, when it comes to being a human, okay, it's pretty easy to survive and adapt to your environment and you have to be pretty not intelligent in order to not survive now that doesn't stop some people from unfortunately dying in very stupid ways because quite honestly who knows maybe just maybe uh they don't have enough intelligence in order to recognize what is clearly and obviously a dangerous situation something that they should not be doing and i gotta tell you guys TikTok has really shown us that there are just some people in this world that are just not <laughs> that intelligent. And this story right here, which involves four people that, again, allegedly uh, won a Darwin Award uh, due to a TikTok challenge, uh, is exactly what I am talking about. As we got to talk about a story, okay, that involves, again, a TikTok challenge uh, that has people jumping off of a moving speed boat okay and allegedly uh four people out in alabama have died doing this tiktok challenge and i want to talk about it so i'm going to go ahead and play a news clip okay so you guys can get a better understanding of what's going on here and then we're going to go from there take a look a stunt intended to rack up views it's known as the boat jumping challenge and it has people on social media leaping off speeding boats into the water. But the flips for likes has led to tragic results. Over the last six months, officials in Alabama say the dangerous stunt has claimed at least four lives there. Drownings that one rescuer says were easily avoidable. The four that we responded to when they jumped off of the boat, they literally broke their neck and uh, you know, basically an instant death. Experts say if a boat is moving fast enough to create a wake, the water is not a safe landing pad. Hitting the water at a moving boat is like hitting concrete from jumping multiple stories up. So it's really, really dangerous. Gail Culp works to educate boaters and eliminate preventable recreational accidents on the water. You can wind up with broken bones, a broken neck, or you could end up running into the propeller of your own boat or another boat could run over you. And that would cause lots of damage, if not death. The challenge is not new. We found videos of boat jumping on social media dating back to 2020. TikTok now posting warnings like this on some of its videos, noting participating in this activity could result in you or others getting hurt. NBC News reached out to TikTok about the boat jumping trend. They responded by saying it's not accurate to characterize or report this as a TikTok challenge and that the company can't comment on something that isn't a trend on our platform. When it comes to these dangerous stunts, TikTok pointed us to its community guidelines that state in part, we do not allow showing or promoting dangerous activities and challenges and advising if you see a dangerous activity or challenge, pause for a moment to stop and think before you decide and act. I mean, I don't even know what to say after seeing all that stuff, but there were some people who were jumping off the back of their boats wearing a life vest. Did that make any difference at all when it came to the injuries? I mean, boating safety 101, right? Wear a life jacket. It's always advisable on a boat, just like wearing a seatbelt in a car. But our safety expert wanted to emphasize that wearing a life jacket when you jump off a speeding boat would not prevent serious injuries or death. It would not prevent you breaking your neck or breaking any bones. The only way to be safe, Hoda, just don't do it. Yeah, just don't do it. That seems like the best advice. All right, uh, Kaylee, thank you. She said it's like jumping off a high building onto, onto a concrete, concrete sidewalk. So yeah. a life vest isn't going to help you. Yeah, on exactly. Now, to be fair and accurate, the Alabama police have actually come out and said that 
the initial reports that people died due to this TikTok challenge are false. That there's no evidence that they actually died as a direct result of doing this TikTok challenge. Alabama law enforcement agency released a statement today in regards to a story that aired here on ABC 3340 last Monday. In the story, we spoke with Childersburg Rescue Squad. We were told in the last six months, the rescue squad had responded to four drownings that were easily avoidable. They were doing a TikTok challenge. However, Aaliyah today says its Marine Patrol Division does not have any records of boating or marine related fatalities in Alabama that can be directly linked to TikTok or a trend on TikTok. We reached back out to Captain Jim Dennis for a reaction to Aaliyah's statement. Captain Dennis says he stands by the information provided to ABC 3340, adding Aaliyah may not have all the documents related to those incidents. But when asked to provide dates of when these incidents happened, Captain Dennis declined to provide them. We have more on our website. Yeah, so you see that you heard that. <clears throat> now, here's the thing. Um, this is just one of many TikTok challenges that allegedly have resulted in the death of people who attempt the challenge. Now, officials, or at least police, are contradicting some reports saying that, look, we don't know if any of these deaths were linked to this TikTok challenge or directly linked. But regardless of whether or not it's actually linked, um, how much common sense do you need to know, hey, it's not a good idea to jump off of a moving speedboat into the water, okay? It shouldn't take that much common sense or intelligence to understand that it is dangerous to do that, right? Uh, again, you know, I've covered stories like this before in the past. Like, for example, the Kill Boy story, right? The story about the TikTok challenge where you have people that hijack kids because apparently kids are easy to hijack. And a group of teenagers had hijacked the Kia and then went joyriding. And then they ended up crashing the vehicle and dying. Now, it was just them. They didn't crash anybody else. But again, they ended up dying, losing their lives. Now, when I did this story... You know, a lot of people in the comment section, or some people, not not most of you guys, but just some people, thought that I was heartless. I was heartless because I didn't necessarily feel, you know, a lot of remorse or felt sad about what happened because these are teenagers, right? These are teenagers. Like, you're supposed to cry about it because they jacked a car, they stole a car, and then they went joyriding, and then they ended up crashing the car and dying. And I'm just like, well, look, here's the thing. You know, these teenagers were old enough to know that this is wrong, that they should not be hijacking vehicles and then turning around and using those vehicles to joyride. So if something bad happens to them while they're committed a crime, while they're being agents of chaos to society, I only can feel so bad about it, right? Because if you are that dumb that you're going to do something like that and you think that is safe or that you're going to get away with it or that is okay... Then at the end of the day, eventually, considering how you're displaying uh, not that much intelligence, eventually something bad is going to happen, right? Eventually, they're going to get themselves in a situation where they may end up losing their lives because they make a stupid decision. Again, something entirely preventable. Again, it's not like it was a regular car accident where, you know, it wasn't their fault at all or it was some tragic incident that was not at the fault of the person that died at all, but it's like when people do these stupid challenges that they know is dangerous, but they do them anyways for clicks and likes or because they're criminals, again, I can only feel so bad about it, right? And the biggest problem here, besides the people that are stupid enough to do this, is that we have a platform, TikTok, that promotes this type of stuff, where they allow people to do these stupid challenges and to post them on their platform for clicks and likes, and then they want to take no responsibility for it and say, hey, well, you know, it's not on us, right? It's not on us. And what really, really bothers me about this is that it's not just TikTok, but a lot of these social media platforms do this. They're quick to remove a video that they deem to be hateful, right? Because of speech. When that speech in and of itself is not harmful, it's not hurting anybody, it's not really affecting anybody's lives. But what they do is that they remove it because they say, well, this is harmful, right? This is harmful on the platform. However, these same platforms will turn around and allow silly stuff like this to be on a platform where you have people promoting doing these stupid challenges in which some people end up killing themselves.
right? Because apparently, according to TikTok, if, you know, you say the wrong thing about people who claim, you know, that they are victims or that they're oppressed in some way or that claim to be marginalized, if you say the wrong thing about them or if you criticize them, right? More than anything, if you criticize them, you can be removed from the platform. You can be kicked off. But if you film yourself, you know, hijacking a Kia or, you know, jumping off a boat or doing some stupid challenge where you inflict harm on yourself in some way, totally fine, totally okay. We're going to slap a warning stamp on it and just keep it moving. And look, here's the thing. Um, hey, <laughs> because, you know, hey, I'm, I'm a freedom guy. I'm not necessarily upset that they allow it on the platform as much as I'm upset about the double standard. I'm upset about what they consider to be harmful and dangerous, which are words. But actually promoting challenges uh, that, you know, could potentially harm people, nah, they get at a slap on the wrist. They don't take that nearly as serious as uh, conservative political opinions, right? Because that's what they always deem to be harmful and dangerous, okay? It's just funny how that works. But, you know, like I said, man, um, TikTok is, is really, in, in my opinion, a poison to society. Uh, China doesn't even have to... Uh, have conventional warfare against us because all you got to do is just hey launch an app like tiktok in the united states and then have you know young people in this country doing dumb stuff right have them get indoctrinated in woke ideologies which in my opinion have influenced a lot of these young people these kids that be on tiktok all day to become far leftists right far leftists who vote for things and advocate things that are the downfall of our society again uh china does not have to have conventional warfare with us they don't have to shed uh any blood or anything like that now do any of that all you gotta do is just let tiktok do um the work right just let tiktok do the job okay i guarantee you this type of stuff is not allowed in china right they don't allow their people to see this type of stuff and to be influenced by this stuff and you know damn well again if a foreign app was operating in the country which again they don't allow for the most part like for example facebook is banned you know other apps are banned um yeah they don't allow this type of stuff right they're not showing their people these trends and having them influenced by the worst behaviors okay they, they don't do that right so i mean look here's the thing man um you know whether or not these people's deaths resulted uh from this uh tiktok challenge really in my opinion is not relevant i think that most people with common sense should know that you shouldn't do this okay you shouldn't be jumping off a boat uh that is speeding like that okay um i think again that should be common sense but in 2023 common sense is pretty uncommon so hey not surprised let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace